Hello and welcome to Friday's uh, bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to be attempting to do just that and crack today's Times Cryptic crossword for you um, uh, with explanations as to what's going on uh, as my as my brain comes up with ideas which will hopefully be uh, of some value. Um, what do I have to tell you about today? Well, there's all sorts of stuff going on today on Cracking the Cryptic because this is sort of a Wren tribute day. Um, the musician Wren has a new album out called Sick Boy. And Wren is uh, obviously a, a, a hugely talented artist, also uh, majoring on mental health, which is something that um, has, is, well, it's very close to our hearts on Cracking the Cryptic as well. So we wanted to support that. Support that. There's a reaction video to me watching Wren's High Wren song for the first time. Um, the, the we did, we did, we have released it. Um, so that's on the channel now. Uh, if you if you might be interested in such things and later on um, Mark and I are going to be attempting um, Ren themed Sudoku puzzles in our Sudoku videos later on because there is a free Sudoku pack that's been made by some members of the Sudoku Skunk Works so it's a huge Ren day um, uh, on Friday the 13th um, and oh yeah I was going to show you something that um, was in my garden earlier, actually. <laughs> it's a bit strange, but I thought you might like it. Look, this little fellow. It turns out that uh, hedgehogs really like cat food. Um, so this was before the incredibly bad weather arrived. Um, but yeah, Mrs. Mrs. or Mr. Tiggywinkle made an appearance in the garden. Um, which was very nice to see. Um, now, do I have anything else to tell you about before we, we get cracking? I don't think so. Just oh, just a reminder, if you do enjoy our crossword content, uh, do check us out over on Patreon, where every month there is bonus crossword content, including every month Mark solving the Times Club monthly special, which is a vicious cryptic crossword that the Times publishes. Um, it's either by Roger Phillips or Richard Rogan every month. Um, that is always worth a watch if you are into the solving of rock hard puzzles. Now, today's Times crossword is meant to be about average difficulty, according to the snitch. So I'm hoping it's not going to be rock hard. But the only way to tell is to launch it and get cracking. So it looks like it's in the right place, doesn't it? Um, right, so one across. One's depressed. One's depressed, so one will stay in bed a little longer. Uh, mm, I don't know. I, I've got lots of ideas around this. I'm thinking of button, because <laughs> if, you, you, if you press something or depress it, it might be a button. Button is six letters. Uh, and things that stay in bed a little longer. I, I'm Im immediately trying to guide my mind away from lying in, lying in a real bed. I'm thinking about uh, plants, um, plants that stay in a bed a little longer. But that's unfortunately my brain is not telling me what that might be. Let's try one down. Um, protested alien material man-made. Alien material. Um, alien, whenever it appears in a cryptic crossword, is almost always E.T., um, the extraterrestrial from the Steven Spielberg film. Protested, rose, demoed, man-made, demo, de, dem, protested, de, Sa oh, satinette. Oh, satinette. I don't believe I've got that. That's right. That is a material. Not a material I know anything about other than that it appears in crossword clues. So I don't know how I got that. I was thinking along the lines of if you protest, you demonstrate. And then somehow my brain went to sit in in the past tense, satin. And then I put the ET on the end and satinette appeared in my brain. Well done, brain. Um, let's go back to this one then. One's depressed. So one will stay in bed a little longer. One's depressed. Something button. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's try two down. Uh, with small body, old World War One or WWI, um, 
old WWI soldier needs trimmed oh god trimmed dress fabric I mean is there a more terrifying sequence of three words in any crossword clue than trimmed dress fabric ugh with small body titchy old world war one so I mean that clue is just a hideous collection of words um, sequentially ordered to basically plant fear into the minds of any good solver um, let's try seven down remedy we find in our best friend's coat our best friend's co I mean man's best friend is a dog remedy hair of the dog yeah I think hair of the dog I mean that is a remedy for a hangover isn't it hair of the dog that's good now that's a really useful answer look how many starting letters we get from that eight across not for good but as regularly arriving at island Antigua yeah not for if you're not for something you're anti it good can just be abbreviated to G um, and then if you take the regularly occurring letters in but as when, when I say regularly occurring I either mean the even numbered letters or the odd numbered letters you can see that the second letter is U the fourth letter is A so if we if we put U and A on the end we get Antigua which is an island so we have arrived by doing this operation by putting these things together we have arrived at we have come up with an island um, now did we, we did look oh this was the terrifying one let's go back to 11 um, single keen on encounter run into yeah okay so a single in cricket is a run and if you're keen on something you're into it put that into put the <laughs> put those words together you get run into uh, and if you encounter something you run into it as i ran into a hedgehog earlier 13 across uh oh fatwa for judgment i'm immediately thinking substantial is fat was cut short so we just cut short we chop the last letter off the word was and we get uh fatwa uh so oh so the organza that's something that's some sort of fabric isn't it i'm just going to put it in i don't i don't i'm not committing to this i just want to think about it um with small body i don't understand that old world war one soldier needs trimmed dress fabric i have no i don't well it might be organza but i don't understand why so i'm taking it out that would be my advice to all of you if you don't understand why take it out um 16 uh, across attack on pc maybe well, that sounds like um a hack maybe not originally viewed without interest hackneyed i think um i can actually see that is correct okay so an attack on a pc is a hack as in an attack on a computer um not originally is the original letter of the word not which is an n and then viewed if you view something you eye it you look at it so eyed in the past tense for viewed and without interest if something is hackneyed it's boring it's trite so i think that's going to be correct a three oh, should we try three down well i haven't got this yet but i can immediately i have got it now okay whenever you see a word like awfully it screams anagram to me so i i look at the start of this clue that's all i when i stopped that's all i'd read I, I read awfully lazy soul i knew it was an anagram of lazy soul which i know is eight letters so i'm looking for an extra letter continue reading injecting energy okay so i need to inject into an anagram of lazy soul some an e for energy why is e energy we do this every um every week but it it bears repetition you can't just abbreviate any word to its first letter it has to be supported by the dictionary so we had g earlier didn't we so if we go to g hopefully ah, there it was there g good you see so we saw good being used um, as a synonym in effect for g and that's why because under g in the dictionary is listed good 
Now, if we go to, um, and I suppose, I mean, I don't think it comes from that, but GG, if you're a computer game player, GG is good game, isn't it? Um, it's interesting, game isn't listed. Uh, but anyway, let's go back to, we were looking at E for energy, weren't we? Let's go for E for energy. Uh, can't see it there. It might be there, but I'm not seeing it. Let's go to... Let's go further down here. Hopefully it will it will be here somewhere, otherwise I I mean it is it's definitely right. E equals MC squared, for example. Oh there we go. E energy. Um so clearly justifiable. Okay, so now now we know we know the word play for this. It's an anagram of lazy soul with an E in it. And it means with passion. Well, the answer, therefore, is zealously. Snooze button. Ah, that's okay. So I was wrong. I was wrong in one sense. I was wrong in the sense that I thought stay in bed a little longer was going to be stay in a, a bed in a garden a little longer. It is actually stay in bed a little longer. If you hit the snooze button, you, you stop your alarm from going off. So organza looks good for that, doesn't it? There are there are other strange fabrics or or Gandhi I want to say is another that might be wrong but obviously that wouldn't fit um, with small body old World War One soldier with small body. Oh. Needs trimmed, needs trimmed. I, have, I really am perplexed as to how. Needs trimmed dress. A gown is a dress, but I'm not seeing. I mean, I, I don't see what else this can be, just because I know it as a word, and I think it is a fabric, and it fits. Um, but I, I'm very uncomfortable with the fact that I can fit nothing here into the wordplay. Do you get panzer tanks or something, but... Trying to think of others, other a World War One soldier. Oh, Anzac. Ah. Why is a small body an org? Is that sort of an organization, an abbreviation for organization? So small here is being used as a synonym for sort of abbreviate, with an abbreviation for a body, which is an organization. So with org, you put. Uh, Anzac without with, with, which has been trimmed, but I would say that really Old War One, Old World War. If it is Anzac, Old World War One soldier, it should be needs trimming. Needs trimmed. Don't quite understand that. I think it's something like that. Org plus Anzac without the. I mean, let's, let's, I'm not changing that. I've got no better ideas. I'm just going to check Anzac is the World War One soldier that we're looking for. Um, there we go, yeah. During World War One. So, so I think I'm on the right lines. I mean, let, let's check. I mean, org must be in there for organisation. Oh, well, actually, this, this dictionary I'm using, this electronic dictionary, is, is probably... It must be nearly 20 years old now, so perhaps in those days, org was not so synonymous with, you know, internet slang. I mean, that's my best guess for how that works. I apologise if I've misled anybody. But, I mean, actually, at this point in the puzzle, we're in a superb position because we've got all these starting letters we've not even thought about yet. So let's try four down. Established, old penny, not made of precious metal, basic... Established, based. Hmm, I think it's based actually. I'm not sure. No, hang on, I've changed my mind. Established. Uh, 
Old Penny. Old Penny is normally a D, because in, in Old English uh, coinage, D was a penny. So an old penny was, you might write 1D or 2D, meaning two old pennies. So an old penny is a, D, is the, is a letter D. But not made of precious metal. It's, it's, it's the wrong... No, not made of precious... Established. I don't know. I'm not sure. It'd be interesting if this letter's a D, but let's let's keep going because we might get some more checking letters. Five down. Players frozen here. Cricketer. Turning blue, we hear. So we hear is indicating that's a homophone somehow. Um, so probably involved in this answer will be a homophone for a synonym of blue. Now blue is, is, a, is a tricky word because it can be, be a colour, so it could be something like navy, uh, but it can mean sad or down. Players frozen here. Players frozen here. I mean, my thought, by the way, is cricketer. I was thinking of a batsman or a bat. So I was thinking if I turn a bat around, I get tab at the start. So then I thought tabloid. But why are players frozen in a tabloid? Tableau. Oh, yeah, okay. If you're low, L-O-W, you're sad, aren't you? And a synonym for low would be this, which is the end of the word tableau. And a tableau is sort of a, you know, it's a stage. Oh, players frozen here. So it's not talking about players as in cricketers or sportsmen. It's talking about players as in actors. So if actors are frozen on a stage, it might be described as a tableau. Um, so that's, I'm fairly confident about that one. So six down, scrapping a goal, it's a pain. Uh, this is an anagram. Again, scrapping here is making me, is, is ringing my anagram bells. So then I need seven letters. Well, how do I get seven letters? A goal is five letters. It is, is the extra two letters. So this apostrophe S here is tricky. You've got to be able to realize that that apostrophe S, the way that with the clue is working is it's saying scrapping anagramming, A goal, it is a pain so so that 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 anagramming of a goal it gives you it equates to a word for a pain and if we if we anagram that up we get atalgia i think um which i think is a word for earache um and yeah, and the other th sorry, just as I'm, I'm just before we leave that clue. Although cryptic crosswords are obviously about language, I think that they are very, very mathematical in terms of how they solve. A lot of the clues can be thought about as equations, as as mathematical equations. You know, this plus that gives that. This minus that equals that. And it's just a case of reading the equations. And once you get used to reading the equations correctly, the clues will become very much easier. Let's try that one. Say nothing about a book club day. Oh, there's, a lot, uh, there's a lot going on there. Say nothing. Say no. Oh, I, I have got this, I think. Let me just... Yes, I have. Okay. So this is a tricky clue because there's a lot to decompose here. Um, so let's talk about how, how I went about decomposing it in my brain. First job, whenever we read a cryptic clue is to try and detect which side of the clue is the definition because it's almost always at the start or the end. Here, that is not easy. The reason it's not easy is say could be the definition, say nothing could be the definition but day could be the definition as well. Now, day initially I thought was unlikely to be the definition because day has a lot of connotations. Day can be D in cryptic crossword land. Day can be an abbreviation for a day of the week, like mon for Monday, S-U-N for Sunday. So this day 
I'm sort of tending towards the other side of the clue initially for thinking, okay, the definition is probably say. I don't like the definition being nothing, by the way, because of the word about. And when we're trying to detect how to read the clues, we're always looking for words that indicate position, because anything that's talking about shuffling position or changing position of anything like that, that's almost certainly wordplay. So the word about, when I read it from a, in a cryptic crossword sense, I'm always trying to put something about something else. So here, nothing about a book club, for example, would be saying put a word that, for, for nothing about around the outside of A, and then book could be B, or well, maybe that B, for example. Uh, and the, But the way I actually found worked out what the answer was was I read say nothing as a phrase. And say nothing I initially thought mute, which is the wrong part of speech. But then I thought, if you shush someone, sh, sh, and that, if I put if I put sh around the outside of this clue, suddenly it becomes easy. If I'm putting sh around the outside, the other side of the clue must be the definition. Well, that's the word day. So I need a word here that means day. Well, that must be Sabbath. And the moment you think Sabbath, you can understand why. You've got say nothing, shh, about, around the edge of A, that's that A, book, that's that book, and a club is a bat. The other th the thing that's just worthy of note here is that this A in the clue, it's so important if it's not there, the clue is wrong. It doesn't work. And yet, if it's not there, and you read this clue, say nothing about book club day, would that change the, the linguistic meaning of it? No. Say nothing about a book club day and say nothing about book club day mean almost exactly the same thing. So the A is there for a reason. In any good cryptic crossword clue. There is never anything superfluous. So this A is necessary for the word play, and indeed it is, because it's that specific A in the clue. So whenever you see an A, um, oh, I'm just actually saying that, you might, you might then argue with me about six down, scrapping a goal, it's a pain. Now there, this A, is, is actually being used for the surface reading of the clue. Because <laughs> if it read scrapping a goal, it's pain, it wouldn't quite have the same natural surface reading. So I'm almost arguing against myself there. But, but trust me, A's are very often extremely important. So, oh, this is looking like based. What's this then? Dredger or something. Oh, it could be, look, vessel, dredger. It could be dredger. One making gradual progress on way, but an edger is something that makes gradual progress, sort of something that edges along uh, on a way back. Well, on way back, way in cryptic crossword lands is almost always indicating a road or a street. Now, there are two very short abbreviations that are useful there. RD for road and ST for street. So we're almost way back. We're almost always talking about DR or TS. So we put DR next to edger, we get dredger, which is a vessel. Now that means this is going to be based, does it? Now, if you're established somewhere, you're based there. So that makes sense. Old penny. Oh, okay. So this is quite unusual. What we have to do here then is to read the whole of that, the last part of that clue, old penny not made of precious metal, question mark, as a continuous stream of language. And, and then, then read what we've got in the answer. We've got base D. So what the clue writer is saying, that if you had a base penny, if you had a, a base penny, base means not made of precious metal, doesn't it? If, so, if a base metal is, is not a precious metal. So a base penny... So base D is an old penny that's not made of precious metal. Whereas because I'm so because I'm so mathematical about it, what I'm trying to do is say old penny D. 
and they're not made of precious metal. OK, then I would need D followed by something that means not made of precious metal. Ah, I can't do it. Um, but I need to be more, I need to be more flexible in, in terms of how I think about the clues to solve or, or to appreciate the wordplay of that one a bit more quickly. Right. 10 down. Well, I'm immediately seeing tough here and I'm thinking hard. What would this be then? Hardy or something. Uh, tough negotiations where punches exchanged. Tough negotiations are... Um, hard... I want to say... I keep wanting to say hard knocks, but... Hawk... Why can't I just write... Oh, this is appalling. I mean, this is just completely my... Where pun this is just completely awful of me not just to be able to write this in. Tough negotiations, hard bargain. But but obviously hard bargain is the wrong number of letters. Maybe we'll get this one. Um, cows advance, just losing way by entrance to field. Cows advance, just losing way ah wow I have got this actually I'm quite proud of solving this one for once um, so how did I get this uh, I don't really know well I, the way I got it was bizarre I understood um, after a, after however many moments that was that just losing way I should take my own advice I've just we've just literally talked about what way can be in a cryptic crossword way is very often either st or rd and then it occurred to me that just losing way if I took the st out of the word just I would get ju which is a weird sort of digraph isn't it and that could go there and then I got the answer because that must therefore be subjugate. And you can see to cow is to subjugate, isn't it? So initially, I'm sure like many of us, I read the clue and I thought, oh, I'm looking for a breed of cow here. But no, it, we're looking for to cow. If you cow to, if you cow somebody, you sort of overpower them or subjugate. So subjugate and advance, if you give someone advance, you sub them. Ju just minus st. And then entrance to a field might be a gate. And that's why the question mark is at the end. Because entrance to field, uh, if, you, if we look under gate, it'll probably say something like um, a way of entry. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be into a field. So entrance to field gets a question mark there to indicate it's sort of an example of what, what a gate might be. Oh, so horse, horse something. Yeah, there is something. Oh. Horse trading or something. Tough negotiations, horse trading. Where punch is exchanged. It is, oh, was is punch a word for an old horse? I think it might be. I think that's going to be horse trading. I'm not going to check that one yet because I, I, I will check these checking letters work. If they all do, I will... I will then allow myself to look up punch, but I think punch might be an old word for a horse, in which case where punches are exchanged would be at a, somewhere where horses are traded. In a, you know, it's not easy to understand that, but it's, um, it's certainly possible, isn't it, as an explanation. So 15 down, be greedy. Uh, I don't know. By degrees, I want this to be, though, because it looks like an anagram. Yes, so be greedy after ordering. It's lovely. It's a lovely surface because it makes you think of, you know, somebody who is a glutton. But actually, ordering here is being used as an anagram indicator. If you order letters, you, you'd anagram them. So if we anagram be greedy and put it by an abbreviation for the word seconds, well, seconds can be S, you might see days, minutes, seconds or something or hours, minutes, seconds on a stopwatch. Um, so by degrees, not all at once. So yeah, that's that's very understandable, isn't it? Um, OK. Interestingly, just one point I'll mention here. 
I'm looking up at this grid and I don't know why but it's just the way my brain works I'm seeing a lot of unusual letters used there's a J here there's two Z's a W so if you do spot something like that in a puzzle immediately now I'm thinking where's the Q because I'm thinking that this constructor has gone for a pangram i.e. a grid that contains every letter of the alphabet so immediately then we should be thinking about what are the difficult letters they're letters like K well we've got K we've got W the one, the one Scrabble tile that we haven't got that's really worthwhile is a Q. So, so let's. Where would the Q be? Most likely, probably, if I was trying to put a Q into this grid, this were, or maybe Squit or something. I don't. Let's just try twenty six across. Sun experiencing criticism. That's got Dad foaming at the mouth, spitting chips or something. Um, it's got. Dad, foaming at the mouth. I haven't. I don't know. Well, I should. I mean, it's mad to try this one before we try the ones where we've got the starting letters. Uh, let's try that one. Um, marcher. I'm thinking that's an. That feels like an anagram. Marcher is such a weird word. Marcher is hoping demos are entertaining. Yeah. Okay. That's weird, actually. Um, well, hang on. Oh, okay, I'm going to tell you what I think the answer is here. I haven't understood why it's the answer. I think the answer here is cherish. <laughs> and the, when I read this clue, I felt there was something odd about it. Um, And, and the reason I think the answer is cherish is that cherish is spelt out in the clue. Um, so cherish is being entertained by, it's being hosted by the letters of Marcher is hoping. But where's the definition? <laughs> to cherish. What's demos doing in here? I might be wrong. I might be wrong about this. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I'm not. Uh, well, well, I'm going to bear in mind that might be E, that might be I, that might be H, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Let's try that one. Arrest, nab, and fine, upset, very old writer. Uh, hmm, don't know. Nisbet. I was thinking for some reason. Arrest. Nab, fine, upset. Na oh, Nab, is it Nabokov? Nabokov, I quite like now. Nab, now this is again, it's one of those things that I never know quite how to. I think, I think it's Nabokov, like that. But I'm very prepared for that. To, to change that. Let me just think about that. So arrest, nab, fine. If you're fine, you're okay. Upset. Oh yeah, upset, very old. So V, O. Uh, v can be very. Uh, o can be old. And we upset that. Then we get O, V. And we get nab, O, cough. Because the way I say it, nab, O, cough, I wouldn't be sure of that central vowel. Um, it's my, I, I yeah, it's it's one of those just bugbears of my brain. Um, I've, I, it's very much my the way I spell is made is very based around how I pronounce things, um, and it's that's a bad thing in cryptic crossword world. Um, right, we must try this one. That's got to be gherkin, doesn't it? <laughs> or Greekly or something. Twenty um some lean back to front, getting in oh getting in danger. Some lean back to front. Getting in danger. Wah 
Well, it's not a gherkin, is it? I don't know what that is. Let's try that one. Where documents kept neat. That's going to be ox. It's going to end in box. Um, after what's done initially badly. Something box. Where documents are kept in a drop box. After what's done. Deed box. I think it's deed box actually. I, which is not a word I or expression I've ever heard before. But, but that's what I'm getting from the word play. So the way I read this is where documents kept. I think that might be a deed box. And then the word neat. If you see neat in a cryptic crossword clue, it's almost always being used, believe it or not, for ox. Because neat is a word uh, for, for a cow. Let me show you that. Neat. So it's not this one meaning, it's this meaning. Here we go. It's archaic or dialectic now, but look. An ox, cow, or bull. So OX here is neat. And then once we had the B already, so box looks brilliant, doesn't it? So how does how did I arrive at deed rather than drop, which was my first thought? Well, our, our ox is after what's done initially badly. Well, initially badly is the initial letter of the word badly, which is B. So that's that. So what we need now is a four letter word that means what's done and you do a deed. So I think it's deed box and that, well, that gives, oh, hang on, I should have thought about X as being necessary rather than Q for the pangram. We've just found the X. So what's this? Gas, xenon, current, presumably rising. Uh, uh, that's lovely. Okay. Okay. So it is xenon, which is a gas. Um, I want to say a noble gas, but I might be wrong. So if something is current, it's not. If your current girlfriend would not be your ex girlfriend. So current, presumably, is non ex, <laughs> which is, I would have given that a question mark. Um, but it's very, it's a very nice clue. Um, so what's this then? Foaming at the mouth. Shaving. I like shaving, actually, because sun would be S, experiencing, having. Criticism that's got dad. Shaving, a criticism. Shaving. That's got dad. What, what does that mean? Dad could be pa, P-A. So I'm thinking of something that's like this. Shaving space? No. Shaving something. I think it's shaving something. Oh, Cherish is looking good, isn't it? So what's this then? Hair of the dog. That's going to be right. Some lean. Back to front, getting in danger. Um, lean back to front. Some lean back to front, getting in danger. I mean, and this is probably I. Oops. Ah, where's my eye gone? Ah, what, what is this word? <laughs> There's lots of things occurring to me, but none of them, <laughs> none of them are remotely like actual words. <laughs> um, some lean back to front I think it's going to be the name of a danger oh, that one gremlin or something And then I'm thinking that 
we need a word for some lean. Lean could be thin. Back to front. I don't know, but I'm, I'm noticing if I put the G here at the end. So if this ended I N like this. Danger. Is a danger a risk? Oh, hang on. What's going on here? So let's lean back to front. If you lean somewhere, you. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I should have put risk in the air. That's really confused me. I don't know. I'm very confused. I don't understand Marcher is hoping demos are entertaining or demos are entertaining. Marcher is hoping. I mean, it must be Cherish. It's hidden in the answer there. But I mean, Demos is one of those words. I think it's a Greek word. Um, you know, means of the people. I mean, just imagine Demos meant cherish. Would that allow this clue to read correctly? So, Marcher is hoping a word for cherish are entertaining. There needs to be something that tells us that this is a hidden. And that seems to me to be the word entertaining because the letters are hosting the answer. I don't understand that clue. That's a weird clue. But And if that's right, I get this one, which I don't understand either. Some lean back to front. Inkling or something. If you have an inkling, you have a leaning. Getting in, get it, unless, oh, unless it's that getting in is to put in inside it or at the end of it. And the whole thing means danger. A danger is a, golly, I am stuck. I am stuck on this word. I don't know this word, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to have to come up with that. We'll come back to it. Let's go over here. School run avoiding center was better. School run, avoiding center, was better. Mm, don't know. Oh, God, I've come to a complete and utter stop now. This is a disaster. Let's try 19. Retiring, perhaps, as exam failed. First time is a shocker. Taser. That's something that shocks you. That feels like it's got resat in it or something. Taser. I'm just going to put that in. Retiring, perhaps, as exam failed first time. Yeah. It's again. It's a slightly. It's a slightly difficult. You know, clue to to read, isn't it? I mean, it's clear. I think this is reset is definitely right. The, the idea is that you're, you're doing a reset. You reset an exam. But the part of speech is strange. You've got to, we've got to reverse something. Perhaps as exam failed first time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't love that as a as a wording, but I mean, it's. I think it's right. So it's an. It you reset the exam because you failed it first time. You reverse that. We get taser, which is a shocker. 
19 down, Doctor fleeing as mouse circles, vessel in part of kitchen. Ooh. Um, daughter fleeing as mouse circles. <laughs> vessel, I mean, there's a lot going on in that, isn't there? Let's try that one. Uh, small, that can be S, as in you might see that on the label of a, a T-shirt. You know, if it was small size, it would just say S on the label, wouldn't it? So, dear to annoy castaway. Well, I thought of the word Selkirk here. I have no idea why that's a castaway. I mean, Castaway is like Robinson Crusoe, isn't it? Was there, was there somebody called Selkirk who was a castaway? I don't know, but I've put that together as S, elk for deer, and irk. If you irk someone, you annoy them. So Selkirk, it doesn't feel too stupid. What's this one? Oh, shaving a stick. Are you, there is a, such a thing as a shaving stick. I think my grandfather had a shaving stick. So S for son, experiencing, having, criticism, stick, that's got dad foaming at the mouth. Is, is, is that trying to reference the fact that it's an older type of implement for shaving? I'm not sure. That's slightly difficult again. Okay, well, tsunami is the only word I can think of that fits here, and that doesn't work with the... I mean, that's actually, that I is very strange in this one, isn't it? Daughter fleeing as mouse circles vessel in part of kitchen with an eye at the end. Wow, don't like that at all. What's this one? Top. Top. Goalkeeping feet recalled. Oh, top will be number one. A goalkeeping feet will be a save. Golly, I've got that by total luck. Evasion. Ducking is evasion. There we go. So tsunami still fits. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be right. Like, let's try this one again. So school run. Avoiding centre was better. School is like a... It can be a group of fish, obviously a shoal or something. But that doesn't seem to work here, does it? School run. Avoiding centre. was better was better Ooh. I haven't got this <laughs> uh, I haven't got I don't understand this. this one's terrifying this one's terrifying this one I mean this is very odd bottom of this grid Oh, I was looking for a Q somewhere, wasn't I? Where could the Q be? Nowhere. Unless this word is really strange. Most words in English need a U with a Q. Um, there doesn't seem to be room for any. To, uh, no, no, stop trying to do that. Daughter fleeing as mouse circles. Daughter fleeing as mouse circles. Maybe shaving sticks wrong. Because this vowel is so bad. What I mean and what synonyms are there for mouse? I mean mouse can be a black eye. A vessel in part of a vat? vessel in part of the kitchen would that be a vat vat here oh okay so daughter fleeing but why i don't like the way this is worded this is a strange puzzle i've had a thought which is the word well the word timidly is a mouse timid? Daughter fleeing as mouse. 
circles. It's, you know, it feels like it's, it's trying to say as timid as a mouse. So a word for as a mouse might be timid. So that would give Timmy. Oh, timpani, part of a kitchen. Yeah, timpani, the kitchen. Um, the kitchen part of the orchestra is the um, uh, the sort of the, the drums and everything, isn't it? So timpani is part of the kitchen, I think, in an orchestra. And a pan, obviously, is a vessel. So yeah, I don't love this daughter fleeing as mouse to give Timmy, as in without D, without the D. That circles pan to give timpani. Uh, so what's this then? Um, gambled? Better. Was better. Gambled. <laughs> if you were a better, you did gamble. Um, so why is that right? Gam. The gam is a word for a pod of fish, I think. Maybe a gam is a word for a school of whales, actually. Um, and then run, bleed. If, if something bleeds, it runs. Avoiding the central letter, get rid of the central E. We get bled and gambled was better. That's a very clever clue and very difficult. And that all leads us to this dreaded 24 across, which I'm now I'm now very scared of because this some of these clues have got very difficult towards the end. So some lean back to front. Some lean back to front, getting in danger Gricken <laughs> Glicken um, I mean is it is it possible that this is a word I know I really I don't think so Weaken. Does that feel like it's a word? No, that's absolute nonsense. I mean, that, that is more nonsense than you can shake a stick at. Um, some, if you lean, what do you do? You list, you tilt. Some lean back to front, getting in danger. Is a risk a, really a danger? I don't think it is. I think this means danger. I think the whole thing means danger rather than some or lean. Some lean back to front. Um, this is good practice for the Times Crossword Championship next weekend. You know, when, when inevitably, you know, at some point during the competition, you're stuck on a word and you've got no idea what the word is and you just have to sit there because getting an answer wrong is so much more of a penalty than being slow over it. Um, some lean back to front. I mean, it could be lean as in meat that's lean. Jack Spratt would eat no fat and his wife would eat no lean. Some. And the, oh, the other worry here is that Cherry, I mean, how could Cherish be wrong? Could it be wrong? I mean, what else could this be? I mean, that would be a total disaster if that's wrong. That could be cheetah. C H E E. I mean, it would be a brilliant clue if it's wrong. If Cherish is wrong here, and it matters for this, that is a brilliancy beyond words. 
Marcher. I keep thinking of the March family. <laughs> um, little women. Um, is hoping demos are entertaining. A marcher is a... Let's go back to this then without the polluting eye. Maybe that will give me another idea. Some lean. Back to front. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a word for if something is experiencing some lean, like rocking, for example. A rocket, if something was rocking, it's not quite right, but, or tilting. Imagine you had the word tilting. It's not the word. It's not right, but, but then if you had the word tilting and you put the back to the front, you put the G to the front, wouldn't you? And you get something that was very similar in construction to this. So I think we have to think of a word here that means tilting, basically, that is probably blank I blank K ing. Tilting. Um, that's somehow going to fit this. So it probably begins with R or L, doesn't it? Lean. Ricking? Is a rick really a tilt? You can rick your neck. No, or no, no, that's not the right. It's W, isn't it? If you rick your neck. Some lean. Um, let me just think about this for a second. Let me think about this for a second or two, maybe three. Um, some lean. I mean, Nabokov's right. Xenon is right. Hair of the dog is right. I mean, it's not going to begin GN, is it? Oh. And this is all predicated on cherish as well, which I I'm, I just don't understand. Um, now, M N O N O P. So, some lean, grocking. This is the problem where you don't know words. It's just very difficult to to solve these puzzles. Sometimes. If you get the wrong crossing, it's just a nightmare. <laughs> it's happened. It's happened. Was it last week or the week? I mean, honestly, this heart. I know you won't believe me, but it really does hardly ever happen <laughs> that I get totally stuck on these puzzles. Um, Grampus, I keep thinking as well for some reason, which has got nothing to do with the answer. Some lean. Grickin. If Rick can mean lean, Grickin could be the answer. I mean, I've never heard that word. Grickin. I mean, it's so ludicrous. It can't be that. Um, Grickin. <laughs> I'd love it if that was the answer. I mean, it's so stupid. How could that be a word? Grickin. I'm in a bit of danger. Oh. You wouldn't believe the gricking I'm in. Um, that would require Rick here to mean lean. Which I don't really feel comfortable with. Let's just give it one more trawl through the alphabet with L-I L -I blank K. Some lean. If something licks, it doesn't lean, I don't think. Link doesn't mean lean. Rick. I mean, we need a very specific pattern. If the eye is right, we need a very specific pattern. I 
I'm not going to have, I don't think I'm going to get any better than that. And cherish here, Grickin. Right, before we before we submit this, let's deal with, so let's deal with some of the uncertainties. Um, one of them was horse. Can, can punch be a word for a horse, wasn't it? Let's have a look at that. Ooh, uh, oh no, there are some meanings of punch here. Let's try a drink, or you would have known that one. There, there we go. Punch three, a short-legged draft horse. So that's why horse trading is right. Uh, let's try and justify demos. Is that, it's got some meaning related to chera. Oh, see, I was right. Greek, the people. Plural of demo. Oh. So that's really not a good sign for, for Cherish. I think that's wrong uh, or could well be wrong. And what did I put Grick in? This is not going to be right. No, it's not. It's not there. Grick in, isn't it? <laughs> Grick in is not a word. Grisk. Oh, it's there. Look, Griskin is the word that we were looking for. Lean meat from a loin of pork. What? Oh, so some lean is saying, oh, so it was... What is going? I mean, it's griskin is the answer, which is not a word I've ever heard before in my life. So some lean is griskin. It's the lean meat from a loin of pork. I've never heard that word in my life. And then how does the rest of it work? Get back to front. Oh, getting in danger is risking. Risking, Get, getting in danger, I suppose so, yeah. And then we put the back to the front of that. So I was reading the clue incorrectly, which is perfectly acceptable. Well, it's perfectly, it's not acceptable, but it is... So I thought it was going to be a word for some lean with the back to the front. To mean getting, get a word for in danger, griskin. I didn't think about it the other way around. It's just some, I mean, it's very difficult because some lean being the definition, a noun basically, for the lean part of, of whatever it was, pork. <laughs> Back to front, getting in danger. It's, I mean, it's perfectly fair. It's just very hard. And Cherish, I have no idea what's going on with that. I don't understand it. Oh, let's look up Kitchen just to show you that that is, I think, the, the drum bit of the orchestra. There you go, the percussion section of the orchestra. Um, and is there anything else that we were unsure about? Probably Deed Box. Let's have a look at a Deed Box. Is that a thing? A deed, de no, maybe it's not. <laughs> deed box. It's not there. Deed box. Oh, this, this could be wrong then. Oh, that might that might explain why cherish is wrong if deed box is wrong. Deed box is not there, is it? What was the clue for that one? Where documents are kept. Neat after what's done done the deed well I don't know let's let's establish whether deed box is right by submitting this and then we can decide we can go further a deed box is right it's just not even in the dictionary or maybe it's under that one no uh, no I'm not sure am I not seeing it is it there and I just can't see it maybe it's under box or something deed Maybe it's hyphenated in the dictionary. Deed box, no. Deed box. No, I don't know. Oh, maybe it's under box. No, I've so the dictionary hasn't heard of deed box. Um, well, I think that was fair. A Selkirk. Oh, yes. I want to look up Selkirk for castaway. Is that actually a word? 
No, okay, so this is this is some re reference to real things. But I, I don't... Oh. Lick the burst to draw a hog's bristle through the mouth as in admission as a Burgess in Selkirk. To lick the burst. Yeah, I mean, if that comes up in the Times crossword, I'm not going to get that third word. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was very difficult. Oh, organza. Did we ever understand? Oh, we did. We did understand organza. It was just that was quite difficult as well. A lot, a lot of tricky, tricky stuff in this one. Very difficult. No cue. So the pangram not quite achieved. Um, but hopefully there was some food for thought. Um, I will try to do better next time. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, please like them. Please drop a comment in. The YouTube algorithm needs to learn that cryptic crosswords are cool and it doesn't understand that yet. And we'll be back later with some Ren Sudoku editions of Cracking the Cryptic. <laughs>